Thank you so much for tuning in to Teaching for the Culture. And this is Bianca Goolsby. And I have the superhero of the Heights with me. And so I want to introduce Coach Jefferson, who is an amazing mentor, coach, and leader that is in the East Tampa community. And so I just want to give him an opportunity to highlight the amazing work that he's doing and how the community can support you. So, hey, Coach Jefferson, what's going on with you? Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Bianca? Thank you for the opportunity today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, run this by me. So you are the superhero of the Heights and you're over uh, the Jackson Heights Yet Center. So can you tell us more about that program and how you got started with it? Well, uh, first off, I, I would say I'm the superhero. I, I'm just the leader of a group of su superheroes. Um, I, I'm just the one people see. But we have an amazing staff. We have an amazing group here who all support. So um, I, I would say we're co-superheroes over here at the Heights. Um, but what we do here is we we try to provide our kids an opportunity and a safe safe space to be themselves, to learn and grow, provide them opportunities that they wouldn't necessarily get anywhere else. You know, sometimes the schools don't teach things that they need. Uh, they may not be getting uh, things they need at home. So we try to bridge that gap here in between school and home and the community to kind of just be here for the youth. So what inspires you to do what you do every day? I'm seeing pictures all over social media of give bags and you're taking the kids to playoff games. Like, talk to me about that. What inspires you to do all this? What inspires me a lot is uh, coming up as a young man uh, in West Tampa, uh, the Boys and Girls Club, City of Tampa, Parks and Rec, uh, the Dr. MLK Center and the West Tampa Boys and Girls Club, respectively, were places that did the exact thing that I'm doing now for me. Um, there are too many coaches to name who invested in me, uh, who saw something in me uh, and any other uh, young people in our community to give back and do what I'm doing now. So my inspiration truly comes from just giving back, doing what was done for me and just planting seeds of, of greatness in these young people as was done for me. Amen, amen. So talk to me about that. So what do you think our, our children need? And have you seen like a parallel between how you have grown up in the mentors versus <clears throat> now? Um, what's your thoughts on that? I think the biggest, uh, some one of some of the biggest things our kids I need kids need now, is hope and and more importantly opportunity. Um, there are times where our kids just don't get the same opportunity. No disrespect to you know any other side of town, but uh, kids are in East Tampa are left behind in so many ways, um, be it educationally, socially, economically, and they just don't get the opportunity to grow. It's not that they can't perform. It's not that they don't want to perform. Sometimes they just truly don't have opportunities to shine. Um, so that's that's kind of where we're trying to go here is to give them opportunities. Um, we've got music classes here. We, we've got ukulele and guitar lessons. And you'd be surprised how many people said those kids don't want to play a ukulele. And we look around and we got kids beating down the door to get in ukulele class. And they're performing at the mayor's tree lighting. They're performing at the East Tampa tree lighting. They're performing downtown. So they're doing all kind of amazing things that people just said they wouldn't be able to do. And it's just it's just been truly a blessing to watch. That is so amazing. And what um, sparked me reaching out to you was actually the children with ukuleles and guitars. And I was like, this is Absolutely. such a unique experience for our children to have. So how can the community support you and support the work that the Heights is doing? Um, there's several ways the community can support. Obviously, um, a lot of the things in the programs, we do need funding. So there's that financial support. But there's many ways that don't cost a dime. If it's coming by and becoming a mentor, if it's becoming a volunteer coach for some of our sports, um, if it's just coming by with some words of encouragement for the kids, um, th those are the kind of things we need. And obviously, funding is big. A, a lot of our classes, our ukulele and guitar is funded through our Friends of Tampa Recreation, who help support and, and help us fund these partnerships with a shout out to Instruments for Life. Coach John and Miss Christina, our guitar and ukulele uh, uh, teachers, they're awesome people. But it, funding, obviously, is, is, is much needed for programs like that. And for us to continue to grow, we're going to need some some sponsors, some donors, some partners to help us continue to invest. We, we've got we've got grand dreams over here at the Heights. 
And uh, those things are going to need some some support, some financial support. Uh, but like I said, it doesn't have to be monetary. You know, the support can be just a genuine stop through, give kids words of encouragement, genuinely want to help volunteer and coach, genuinely want to come over, volunteer, help with homework and study hall after school. Um, anyway, there, there's several different ways people can reach out and help. That's amazing. And I will make sure that I link your contact information and your link so people can find you, support you, and be able to do this work. And I just thank you for the work that you're doing. Is there any upcoming events that you want to promote and highlight uh, while I have this opportunity with you? Right now, we'll be here for spring break. So we're trying to plan uh, some events and activities for spring break. Um, we want to get our kids out in the community every day. Um, we're going to do a community service project where we give back to the community. Um, we want to plan a trip um, for those kids who have hit the target um, via their grades in school. Um, so that's our next big thing is spring break. We want to provide an awesome week. They'll be out of school. Um, we want to do a camping trip. There's a couple things that we want to do outside of the box again. And our kids, how many kids in East Tampa have actually been camping at a campground? Uh, mm -hmm. Probably not many. So we want to get out and get in the community and provide an opportunity and things that they don't normally get a chance to participate in. So spring break is our next focus. Um, also, our soccer team. Um, we have a large soccer team, a large soccer program. Um, again, one of those sports where people don't think we can excel. Um, but we are uh, the home of the 2019 13 new soccer champions in the city of Tampa's uh, whoop, whoop. recreation soccer league. So we're shooting that target again. Uh, we didn't play last year. Shout out Coach Kia, Coach Dominique, uh, Coach Carlos, Coach Dyer, our soccer coaches. Um, and, and we didn't play last year because of a lot of the COVID restrictions. So soccer is back this year. So anyone who who, who has some experience, expertise in soccer, come on through to the heights. We, we, we definitely can, can use some volunteer soccer coaches. Excellent. Well, I just want to just thank you so much again. And I want to give you the floor for any final words that you want to share with the people that are watching. I just want to uh, say I, we appreciate the support that we do get. We get support from the community uh, all over the city, not just people who live in this Tampa. Um, we get great support from the Park, Parks and Recreation Department, obviously, um, because that's where we are. People like yourself who provide these opportunities. Uh, so we, we just want to thank all of, of you all who have invested in the Heights. Um, those of you all who have taken the time out, shout out to all of our parents because we couldn't be doing this without the parent support as well. Um, so we just want to thank everyone who's believing in what we're doing. I definitely want to shout out the staff here, uh, Coach Jordan, Coach Carlos, Coach Dominique, Coach Josh, uh, Coach Dai, Coach Ikea, because like I said, I'm just the one that people see, but they, they, they do the work. They're the boots on the ground. They keep the operation flowing. Um, so we just want to thank everyone who's, who, who's been supporting. Thank those of you all who, who, who have been here um, through the struggle with us. And we welcome all. So anyone, you don't have to live in East Tampa. Um, just come on through, support the Heights, support the kids. I promise you, you won't be disappointed in what you see here at the Heights. That is amazing. Well, thank you so, so much for being a change agent in our community and doing the work. And I will make sure that we um, add all of your contact information so people can support you and contact you. And just thank you for the work that you're doing for our children. They definitely need us and they definitely deserve better. So thank you. Absolutely. And Bianca, I want to invite you over to the Heights, too. I don't know if you've been here before, but we've got an awesome facility with, with some great amenities. We have a, a basketball. We have a gym. Um, we have a multi-purpose synthetic turf field out back. And uh, Bianca, this is right up here, Allie. We have a multimedia studio with a recording booth. Um, so there's many, many opportunities uh, for the kids here to be involved and, and, and have opportunity to do some different things. So whenever you're in the neighborhood, stop on by. No invitation needed. Just come on through. You're part of the fam now. Absolutely. Well, I definitely will be there. Uh, Miss Fran Tate actually invited me over to um, the YET Center, and I actually did a presentation for parents about social media and what they need to be mindful of because okay. social media is just running rampant within our children, and they're yes. getting involved in some things that um, are very damaging and problematic. Right. And, and, and I, I'll be honest. I use um, your phrase all the time here at the YET Center to our parents and our coaches. Check those phones. Yes. Those phones. Make sure that we're on top of what these kids are doing, what they're following, because um, they need it. They, they need they need a, a watchful eye at times. Yes. Yes. Amen.